When I was 27 years old, I got married. We had a beautiful baby boy. Everything should have been great. I had absolutely no reason to complain about my life. I lived in a beautiful, brand new colonial home. Um, I had a good job um, working in a small law firm. I had a husband who was good to me and kind. Um, there was nothing that I could have possibly wanted, except I'll never forget when my son was about six months old, I had a thought as I was driving down the street, my child um, brought me joy and fulfilled me in ways that I had never known possible. Um, but I also recognized at that point that there was something missing. I didn't know what it was. Um, I just knew it was missing and I knew that I shouldn't have felt that way and that I should have been grateful for everything I had. Um, and yet I wasn't completely happy and I ultimately asked my husband for a divorce and it was the right thing and yet it felt so horrible and awful. It was so gut-wrenching because I hurt someone who I had promised my life to. I didn't have a support system around me. Um, my family, my friends were all out of state. I was going through a grieving process um, and it took a while for me to get out from under that. That was a moment in my life where my professional and personal life were a contradiction because I was going into work every day and helping people through divorces and yet I was struggling um, so deeply in reconciling what was happening to me personally. I didn't think that I would ever recover from that. I thought that I would just get dogs and call it quits, just take care of my son. Um, what more did I really need? I gave myself space to be with myself. Um, I started doing things that filled me up, that I was passionate about. Whether or not you're the one who wants the divorce, it's hard. I don't care if you ask for it or if your spouse asks for it, it's still hard. So I share my journey with you because I want you to know everything that you're feeling right now I've felt at some point or another. Um, I've been down that path. I've cried the tears. Um, I've been angry, I've grieved. Um, but I came out the other end. And that's my message is that there is hope in this story. There's hope in your story. Um, this does not have to define you. You are allowed to have an alternative ending.